art, and this is the slide room gallery. So I thought I'd take a few moments to talk a little bit about our curatorial program, which this show is part of. So Kathy was part of our curatorial work study program, and in that program, students we meet every two weeks to discuss the different aspects of curating a show. And part of their the mandate that they have to fulfill is they have to propose a show and then uh, bring it to fruition, which is a really huge job. And no one knows how big a job it is until they go through it. So we talk about just the general aspects of putting a show together during the course, but it's not until you're right down in the gallery do you really find out how complicated it is and how curators are probably the most underpaid people in the arts profession because you're dealing with so many different aspects. And many artists work these days as artist curators because there's something really interesting. I was saying this to Kathy, the idea of uh, being an artist but getting a chance to work with other people's work. It kind of takes you out of your own work and makes you think about art in different kinds of ways. So it's, it's very close to the, your own artistic practice and how you might critique your own work. But now you're looking at a whole room and you're having to deal with architecture and all different kinds of things. So the Slide Room Gallery was established as a separate nonprofit, and we've been running for about uh, two years. <laughs> I'd just like to thank everyone for coming and come, keep coming to our shows. And uh, I'll let Kathy say a I'll few words. <coughs> so as you can see, they've all really done some very different, diverse work. And um, my original idea for the project was to explore the idea of identity, like who you are, or, you know, what you are, or what our things are, and so then it sort of developed into more of an identification and how would we identify things or people or places, etc. But I, I didn't really, you know, try and um, steer the artists in any, you know, certain directions. I kind of let them just go with it, with um, from where they stand and, you know whatever way they felt they want to work with it. And I think some of them did sort of change their minds a little bit through the process, which is fine. I was just good with whatever they wanted to produce. And I, I was uh, able to go to the studio to see what they were doing throughout the, the past nine months. So that was really fun. And, um, so that's probably all I
Hi, my name is Jill Ellert and this is my body of work. I have 15 paintings in this show, Proof of Identification. And I, over the years, have collected a lexicon of symbols that I like to work with. And some of them are the chrysalis, or the pupa, the butterfly, uh, DNA, the double helix. I like to work with ABC, 1, 2, 3, the different elements of life, the building blocks of life. I also like to work with the themes of life and death, uh, transformation and metamorphosis. I like things that are old, the archaic. Um, in this body of work, I just decided to work with all of my symbols together, and I work with a layering uh, process. And as you can see, I have incorporated collage. I make my own collage paper out of brown craft paper or newspaper, uh, found ephemera that I work with. Uh, sometimes I put gold into the collage. Uh, I also like to work with um, the measures. Um, I guess to measure time or measure time or space or um, ideas. I also like to put into the work um, a line that cuts across from side to side and to me that represents uh, a safety line, also kind of a trapeze, working a fine line. Uh, I like to work with symbolism, uh, metaphor. Uh, this series I worked with a neutral palette and some pure hue. This particular one has the DNA symbol for genes, uh, not the DNA, but the symbol for genes. Um, this particular piece is plaster on cradle board. <laughs> and it had, this one doesn't have the writing like the other ones does, but it has, I've worked with crossword puzzles from the newspaper, so it has text in it. So all of them uh, have text in them or some kind of writing. Um, we all have collage material. Hi, I'm uh, Coco Jones and I'm at the Proof of Identi Identification Art Show in Victoria at the Visa Gallery. And I work um, pretty much exclusively in acrylic paint. And um, the concepts of these paintings came just basically from my life, from my kids. I have four of them ranging. Um, between the ages of 10 and 18, and they give me lots of fun and lots of grief. <laughs> and uh, this one in particular is, is about my son Dylan, who um, had absolutely no cavities in his mouth, but within a really short amount of time, went for a checkup and found out that he had 12 starter cavities in between. And it's just from the acid in orange juice, I guess. He was drinking too much orange juice. So I, I drew the, the third molar down, I don't know what number that is, and then called it mouthpiece because he's a mouthpiece. <laughs> and this one here is called It's a Sin. Um, that's a song by uh, Pet Shop Boys actually. And I, I used all of my kids' birth dates and then um, uh, used the numbers of the birth dates to make a, up a sin number. So and called it it's a sin. So you can you can see vaguely that there's numbers through there and that. And then this one here is um, not such a green thumb, and it is because this year I managed to kill my garden completely. <laughs> I didn't really. Uh, it's not that I didn't spend enough. Time. I always start off doing so well, but because it was such a dry summer this, this summer, I didn't water enough, because usually every three days it rains here anyhow, so I completely killed it. So I took my thumbprint, and then I, I looked at it very closely, and there was, there was striations through here that I didn't get, but um, I wanted to go with the whole idea of not being such a great son. This one is actually my daughter's eyeball, and three of my four kids have green eyes and are left-handed. All the green-eyed kids have have less left hands, and this one is the little green-eyed monster looks slightly to the right, and it's because I couldn't get the eyeball central. It always seemed to be looking to the right, 
So it wasn't so much as that she was a little monster, it was just, it was summer, almost the end of summer. And it's hard when you're not used to having four children around all the time, to have them around all the time.